So I'm back in San Jose now and it's, you can't see it, I guess I'll do it behind the scenes, but I have my setup with my two studio lights, my digital SLR sitting in front of me. I measured the distance to see so I could just set it on manual focus, not worry about the whole focusing back and forth. I have my microphone here, my lapel mic. Takes very little post-processing, basically none. It's a lot easier than when I was back at my dad's place and I had to do all this stuff with a sort of bad mic. So much easier. But that's the thing called adapting, right? It's hard to adapt. Yes? No? You would think I got back here to San Jose and it's so easy. It's a pleasure to record almost, you would say, right? Wrong. Why is that? Well, I still have to figure out some stuff here. I guess I've been gone for a while and I had to reset my router, make that internet work again. All these little hassles. You would think that there's no such thing as adapting back to home. People always can transition back to home. And first of all, in the pandemic period, we all know that's not true. Many people are spending much more time at home with their, quote, loved ones than they had before, and it's not going very well, right? But in general, the concept of adaptation is that it's actually not about your circumstances, your surroundings, but about your mindset, the way you think about things. Before the past few months, I used to travel all the time for work. I'd move hotels very frequently. That's just life. Sometimes I stay in one, one night, one other night. Sometimes you look for the better deals or you look at the nicer hotel that has a really discounted rate. Yeah, so I would change hotels. I got used to it. Most people can't handle it, changing every night. I mean, one time when I was trying to rack up a lot of hotel stays, I think I stayed in probably a hotel, 15 different hotels and 15 different nights, which is quite ridiculous if you think about it. But you get used to it. No big deal. I work in different hospitals. That's my job. I am a temp. So I get used to transitioning. I know what to look for, what to ask questions about, what to have to, you know, figure out. And you get a hang of things because it's all similar but different. And yet coming home, you think it's easy to just adjust, to adapt. But it's not. Because once you get used to a thing... Once you get comfortable, it's just not easy to adapt, no matter if it's better or it's worse, right? At home, the situation was worse, undoubtedly. But when you have something better, you think it's easy? How often have you bought that cool new gadget that's an upgrade for your current method? Maybe a new tool. And you've been putting off learning it. And putting off learning it. Because you have to adapt. You have to do something different. Learn something new. It may be better, but it doesn't mean it doesn't have a learning curve. Adaptation is one of those things which is more of a mindset. More of a way you think. How well you accept it. Than it is about the actual thing itself. About the circumstances. It's not so much about the microphone. Not so much about the computer. The processing all this work that's involved. It's about the mindset of how you approach this work that's involved. If it's something exciting, sure, you're going to learn how to put together your new bike because you're 10 years old and you got a bike from grandma, right? Actually, is my popo. She's not actually related to me, but she sent it all the way from Texas for my birthday present. I think it was 7th or 8th. And I got it at my shiny red bicycle and I wheeled myself back and forth in the garage trying to learn. See, we're excited about things. We adapt very easily. When you're going to a new place for a vacation, you want to learn all about it. What do I want to go see? Where do I want to go eat? What activities do you have to pre-plan and book? It's not so much about a new place, a new thing. It's the way we think about this new thing, the way we approach this new thing whether or not we actually want to adapt. That's what makes adaptation easy or not. It's been hard for me adjusting back at here. You know, I've been here for months. It should be easy, right? But when you go here, like, ah, oh, a little bit warmer than I was back there. Oh, uh, 
Huh, no food in the fridge. I guess I have to go get some food. It's just a lot of hassle, a lot of change. And we usually say we don't like change. We don't want to change. We're comfortable the way we are. Except when we want to change. And it's the idea of motivation. It's easy if you're always changing. You just don't get used to staying in a place. You don't miss it because you don't know what you're missing. That's what it was like when I was working. But once you get used to a place, it's easy to just feel complacent. I know there is something better out there, but I am good with what I have, right? You don't want to learn something new. But when you want to learn something new, when you want to adapt, then you can. The question is only, do you want to? And I did. So I'm back on track recording my video for today. Back in San Jose. Adapted.